Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here in Erlingrat. Is it going to be able to drive itself around the field without messing everything up? It's... I'm not actually sure what it's doing at the moment. We are going to have a bit of difficulty with this one in the fact that the actual harvester itself keeps trying to pull itself downhill. Which is definitely not going to make it very easy. This one is now coming back here. He's wanting to reverse around a corner. Oh, great. Now what's he going to do? AI extension is good to a certain extent. But there are times where you just want to weep with frustration because of some of the daft things that it tries to do. So we'll come on down here. I mean, that is currently okay. And I love this line of potatoes that we're leaving behind. I think it's going to take quite a while for the AI extension to sort of figure out what it wants to do here with itself. It's discovering itself at the moment. I don't think it's doing a very good job. You come up to there. Now reverse. That's it. I think you could have done a better job there, really. I mean, it's it's done it though. Let's let's let's, you know, credit where it's due. It has at least managed it. I really hope FS22 has the ability for the hired help to go around the edges of the fields. That is something I have wanted from the very bottom of my soul since the first FS game came out. I want the in-game base hired help to be able to go round the outside of a field without me having to do it manually. I so crave that. I really do. And I don't get why we can't have it. It's not fair. Okay, so I've obviously missed a bit here on the edge of the field, which is why it's come out down there like that. It's not very much, but it has missed a little bit. And then we're coming over here, and this is where it's going to get tricky. What's the hired help going to do going around this bit? I'm hoping it's going to be able to get round there. It usually does a better job of turning left on the uh, field boundary than it does turning right uh, if it's going anti-clockwise around the field like it is at the moment. So here we're sort of turning back on ourselves. Usually does a better job of this, but not always. Sometimes it tries to cut too far in on the corner, like it's just done there. And yeah, it kind of messed everything up. My screen went blank there for a minute, so I'm really hoping that I haven't lost anything of the recording. And it didn't like that at all. Right, it's just, it's just too sharp going around that corner there. So I'm going to start that up again. Bring it back this way. And then I will kind of do that myself. Just along here. This is absolutely brilliant. It's really genuinely working. Okay, I am coming back to a new round of recording. I'm going to even try to pretend that I'm not. Um, I've had quite a lot of feedback about different things that you want me to do. In particular, you all seem to want me to continue on the hardcore series on this map in FS22, where we can run comparisons uh, between the two games and see how much has improved, what changes have been and make use of some of these new changes as well, which is going to be quite cool. I really like this idea. Um, we've also got up here, there's this area that we've kind of gone and plowed. Uh, it's now cultivated. It's ready to roll. We do need to put lime across it if we're going to do anything else. And something that has been pointed out, the biogas plant should now have a whole load of digestate available that we could go and use so i don't know if there's any way to see the amount of digestate that is here without having a tanker here 
Um, doesn't look like there's a thing here to actually view it. But in theory, because of the amount of silage that we've now gone and put through here, we should be able to use that digest eight to go and work on, you know, spread it across our land. So we have, in theory, got some fertilizer that we can put on, which is organic. Another big thing that has been asked for by a few people, which I actually think is a really, really good idea, is some uh, putting in... Um, uh, doing pigs rather than cows in in the new series because we're growing potatoes you all seem to want me to become the potato baron um this idea does seem to appeal to every one of you so hopefully we will be able to have the money to continue this i don't know if the small equipment will be available in the next game or not so we'll have to wait and see on that one let's just lower that one in and i'm gonna manually pull in along the bottom part of this field a minute and do it like that and I'm going to do sort of a couple of paths not really enough room to turn around here very well so I'm doing my best to kind of just get the lower edges of the field right here and we will use the AI extension as well to do some um, but yeah, quite a, a, a really good suggestion. I actually really like this idea of doing pigs on this map. Because we're already doing potatoes, we kind of got one of the crucial elements of pigs already underway. And yes, they don't, you know, the, the, the potatoes aren't a big part of it. But because we're already growing them, it seems like it would be a good idea. And it was pointed out that the contracting although we wouldn't focus quite so much on contracting um, as we move forward we'd still be doing some contracting and we'd be able to use that to get some food for the pigs as we progress now my only concern with that is that pigs do require quite a bit of food and we would have to make sure that we got all of the correct food in order for the pigs to be able to work and I don't know that we could. So that would be my main concern with that. And, you know, trying to actually make that bit work. So I don't know. I mean, maybe if we don't get the necessary food coming from uh, the contracting jobs, we could get the necessary... We could go and buy the food to buy in pig feed. No, I don't really want to be buying pig feed but it's still another option that we could look at so something tells me that we shouldn't rule that idea out now what i am going to do is i'm just going to stop that one a minute and i'm going to travel back up to the top of the hill and i'm going to let this one go round again do another manual not manual but we'll let the hired help have a go at getting around the field again and just see how it gets on with another pass because it kind of did all right with the previous time that we did it it kind of did all right i don't remember if i was actually in the process of doing something different um not that it really matters i suppose so we'll bring you i think i was actually going to try standard hired help further down but um i won't at the moment I'll go with the ai extension and i'll keep it going on here because I actually think that the AI extension seems to be doing a reasonable job. I mean, saying that, I am now kind of moving on to bits where there is no crop. But he is mostly seems to be straightening himself out there. It's just a bit there on that hill where he's struggling a bit. And then he'll come over here and he's going to reverse round and, and do his turning. So we'll see how he gets on with that going to do now it's the turning that lets him down like he, he struggles to turn anywhere he goes along there and he'll straighten up and then he will reverse back up again oh no he's he's doing all right with it actually he, he did a reasonable job there turning it around and getting it lined up We'll allow it to maybe do this a couple more times and then I think we want to seriously consider going and getting our potato collection system and see if we can actually 
collect potatoes with this because I mean it's kind of crucial if we're not able to pick the potatoes off the ground we're going to struggle with anything from this point on um, it, we, we kind of need the potatoes being off the ground and into any vehicle that we might have in order to make everything work so let's just double check that we are able to do that in a minute I mean I am really really liking the way this harvest is going at the moment we, it, it seems to be working we've got the potatoes there we've got them on the ground and I've got no reason to suspect that the link box approach where I mean technically we're kind of like manually picking them up and placing them into the link box as we go along you, you can just sort of look at it like that um, there is nothing wrong with doing it like that now is this going to work going around this rock this time he struggled with this last time he's going to struggle with it this time as well by the look of it because he's going to go over to this corner here and then he's going to want to turn yeah and then he's not going to be able to line up properly Let's just wait and see what he does a second. He's going to come on around there. Like that. I like the way that the wheels follow the tractor quite nicely. In the back of this one. That does help things quite a lot as he's working around the field. See, he's come in there. <laughs> the whole machine drifted sideways. Oh, it's because he's because of the direction he's dragging yeah he really doesn't like that at all does he so what we'll do is if I actually I'm gonna go down to this end and I'm gonna do another pass along this bottom end manually and then um, we'll do this man well and come on round like that that should line up to get us most things happening go in here and we kind of just want to lift a few lines over on that far side it's mostly what we want to do now we want to bring this one in over like this and that's where we're struggling right there there's a sort of there's a bit of a lump there i think maybe we need to straighten out either that or we want the object hider and we want to clear the big stone i'm not going to clear that big stone we've got relatively small amount of time left now before fs22 and i'm also as i've recently announced on the channel and on the discord i'm having a two-week holiday i'm going to have a holiday before i start on before fs22 comes out uh, it's been a long time since i've had a holiday uh which has actually been a holiday the last couple of times i've taken time off has been to go and do some work for other people basically it's been fun work you know i've been driving an ex excavator which for me is absolutely amazing and wonderful and fun but it's still working i haven't had sort of a kickback chill out and you know holiday holiday in quite a number of years so i'm gonna take some time off i'm gonna have two weeks off two weeks no youtube no making videos. Well, I'm still actually going to be producing a time-lapse video once a week. I've decided to keep those going because there's limited number of episodes left and there is stuff that I want to get done on that series. Uh, so, yeah, apart from the time-lapse, I'm having a break. Um, which means that there'll be two weeks' worth of episodes less on here before we make the switch to FS22. Now, when we do make the switch... What I'm thinking we will most likely do is we will sell all of the land and machinery before we go. And I haven't really done a lot, uh, made a lot of changes and stuff on here. So I'm not going to bother like trying to upload a save game file anywhere. I don't think it's worth it, to be honest. There's, there's nothing really to upload. Um... So we'll just sell everything we've got. Figure out how much money we've got from here. Yeah, see right there is it. But that, I think, is the, the height of the ground underneath us that's causing us this problem. Um, 
We'll sell everything we've got. So that'd be the biogas plant plus the land here. And I think land sells for the same amount that you buy it for. Which will make life a little bit easier for us. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do another pass coming down the hill. Which will make turning a little bit easier as well. And... We're also going to want to do a few bits next to the road. Going around the outside using the AI extension sort of works, but it doesn't seem to be as effective as I'd like. So I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to bring this one over here like that and start down the hill like this. Um, yeah, the... if selling everything and then we move to FS22. Uh, some people have suggested that I should start on normal settings rather than having this on hard difficulty and then that way we have the buildings, we have the house and stuff like that. Now I have considered it, I have seriously considered that but I've decided against it. I want this on hard difficulty. I mean you can have the easy start mode and then you switch over. The, if it's the same as this one though, the easy start mode or the, the normal start mode will have the buildings built. Yeah, see how much he swivels over because of the slightly uneven terrain there. I don't like that. So bring this over this way. Um, I kind of like the idea of like having the farmhouse and some buildings but it does also start you off with the land adjacent to ours and I don't know that I want to do that for the hardcore series I was kind of wanting to keep going the way we're going but that means that we would still have to have no house of our own and we would have to go and um, you know, eventually save up and buy one because we have this land, but if you start on the normal mode settings, go to the land there, you actually start with that piece of land and you have the buildings here that you can see. So you have your farmhouse and then a few buildings and they also give you some um, farm machinery as well. But that's 330,000 for that piece of land, the value there, 330,000. Now this one's 125, so the value hasn't changed. The biogas plant over here is 119, so we can sell that. We get the same amount of money back, and we can figure out how much we got, and then we can move into the new one. I, so I don't really want to make that switch. I want to have this land here. I want to keep this, and then this one over here is something that we can go and buy a bit later on. Uh, there's some bigger chunks up here. I mean, all of that piece of land up there is 268, whereas this area with the where the house would be is 330,000. It's a large amount of money. So I'm not really sure about that. This would be the one that we have for building our house on and also the main yard. And then we can expand outwards to one of these others. I mean, we can start farming these fields here. We just can't build anything on them. That's, that was our main rules. We, we can't build anything on them. We may keep these rules the same. We may not. I don't really know at the moment. We'll, we'll kind of see when we get into it. Um, as some of you have pointed out, some of the rules that I have put into place aren't necessarily making the Hardcore series hardcore. They're just dragging it out kind of unnecessarily as opposed to presenting more of a challenge. It's, it's just making it take longer rather than presenting any particular challenge. So, yeah, I'm quite happy to go and adjust things as we go along. Let's go and keep going with this. Um, quite a few of you have said that you, you like the contracting, but you also like my idea of not necessarily being completely focused on contracting from here on in. Um, doing a lot more work on our own land rather than on um, the contracts. And doing contracts as a sideline when there's a few easy jobs available and we haven't got anything going on just to earn a little bit of extra money. So that we're not constantly fast forwarding everything, we're still doing some contract work and we're mostly focusing on our own property. And yeah, I kind of like that idea. I think that. that um, will work out fairly nicely for us. Now I'm going to do one more line along here. 
in theory, what I should be able to do is hook this one in. I'm going to go... Uh, no, I'm not. I'm going to go control H. I pressed alt H, which is not the one I want to do. I want to change that to normal. That's what I wanted to do. Change that over to normal. And then back you up a little bit like that. And just set the hired help going like this. So he should come in. He's going to lower down. And I'm hoping he's going to run the full length of the field down here. Just on normal hired help. Is he going to keep going or is he going to stop? So there's a bit of a bump there, but that's actually the potatoes being left in the field more than anything. Which is quite cool. It means that the job is working. It means that things are happening as they're supposed to. So let him come down to there. So we have at least got everything running out down to there. I'm going to do a bit more work over on this side of the field. Run it up there and sort of going up that hill as well. We'll go on round. Um, so the pig's idea. I like it and I don't like it. The reason I do like it is because, yes, I think, you know, feeding the potatoes to the pigs would actually be quite cool. It would be something a bit different that we haven't done in quite some time. Um, the reason I don't like it is because we're just not going to get enough corn jobs coming from contracting in order to be able to give surplus to our own pigs, which means that we're either going to need to be buying in feed for our pigs, or we're going to need to be growing our own grain to feed the pigs. Now, as I think about this, like, we've been focusing on cows a lot, and the reason for that, I like cows. Um, but we don't have to focus on cows. We don't have to be focused on cows. And if we were to do the pigs, this could actually be a hardcore thing to do. This, this could actually give the series a bit more of a hardcore kind of um, element to it. Because if we keep pigs, if, we, if our aim, if we start, like, build up and we start actually keeping pigs we're going to be needing to buy in the food. We don't have a combine. We don't have the ability to produce our own grain. We can do the occasional contract job where we can go and get a bit of the surplus grain, keep it for ourselves rather than have an income, and we can feed that to the pigs. We've got potatoes coming from us that we can feed to the pigs, but honestly, well, potatoes and sugar beet will end up being... Um, but honestly, that's not a lot. That There isn't going to be a huge amount that the pigs will do with that because they eat some of it, but they don't eat masses of it. Uh, which means that what we're going to end up with is we're going to have to go and buy feed for them. We, we have no choice. If we want to keep pigs, we would end up having to buy feed. And that's the bit that I think could end up being hardcore gameplay because we don't have the ability to grow anything. I don't know how well you can rear pigs in this game and make a profit or... Okay, look at the way that thing's sliding sideways there. That's not quite right. Uh, I don't know how well you can rear pigs in this game and make a profit while buying in all their feed. And that could be quite a challenge. That could be kind of the, the hardcore challenge that we are looking for that could give a different element of gameplay like we've explored contracts and we've done that quite a lot. So going and, you know, switching it up a little bit and maybe going for pigs rather than cows because I've said all along I want to go for cows, but... I did cows in the last hardcore series. I mean, I actually ended up doing all of the animals. But cows was my focus. And I've got cows going on several of the other things as well. So, you know, just focusing on pigs, that could be an interesting alternative. So what do you think? Do you think we should be going for pigs in the next one? I'm quite happy to do whichever. I, I really don't mind at this stage. Uh, we've established that we will be staying on this map. That was... 
universal. Absolutely, it was a unanimous vote. Stay on this map in FS22. Move over to this one and start doing the hardcore series. Well, basically carry on the hardcore series in here, except I'll start numbering them from the beginning again. Um, so I'm quite looking forward to that and seeing how we can make this work. Right, that one is... Are we slowing down because he's going up the hill a bit? And we want him to work up the hill rather than down the hill. I think that's just going to work out better for us. Okay, that one is going to carry on there. I'm going to get this bad boy right here. And we're going to load up these two. And we're going to start piling up potatoes. So we've got to find somewhere to go and put them. So that one comes out there. Uh doesn't have an unfold option unload here I got that I got that for picking up and closing uh, left control we can do oh wait that's the tip that's the tip function there So you don't open the gate at all on it, which I'm actually all right with. Okay, so you, you mostly you, you pick it up and down using the mouse. I mean, we can lower it down as well with just using V. So I'm just going to pick that one up there. And we'll drive out this way. So I think we're going to want to bring the potatoes back over to our yard. It's going to be easier to load them there because it's going to be more level ground. But we'll see how much we pick up. This is going to be the big issue here, I think, is how much of it we can actually collect. So if I go over here and I lower that one down to the ground, if you angle it a bit different, let's see. Uh, it doesn't work like a loader. Huh. Unload, lift loader. That one doesn't do anything. It's literally those two options there. This is not good. This is really, really not good. I can't pick the, I can't pick the potatoes. I'm supposed to be able to pick the potatoes up with this thing. I can unload here. How am I going to do this if I can't pick the potatoes up? Let's try the back. Um... Yeah, we have a serious problem here. Because I can do it into the unload. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.